All right, guys, I want to show you a few problems that require your knowledge of place value relationships in order to solve. And speaking of those place value relationships, let's take a look at this section of a place value chart. And I just want to remind everybody of the place value relationships we've been talking about. All right, so we know that each place is 10 times greater than the place to its right. So that means the tens place is 10 times greater than the ones place. And also we need to remember that each place is one tenth of the place to its left. So the tens place is also one tenth of the hundreds place. So we're going to use those place value relationships to help us answer questions such as the one presented here at the top of the screen. So we're getting a number 3,345 and there's a statement underneath our number and it says the value of the three in the thousands place is blank times the value of the three in the hundreds place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to write this number here a little bit bigger next to my place value chart. And I'm interested in the three in the thousands place. So I'm going to write a three in the thousands place in my place value chart. And the value of a three in the thousands place is 3,000. And then I'm going to also write a three in the hundreds place to show the value of a three in the hundreds place, which is 300. Okay, so <clears throat> um, let's go back to our statement. It says the value of the three in the thousands place is blank times the value of the three in the hundreds place. Okay, so let's take a look at the three in the thousands place. The three in the thousands place, how does it relate to the three in the hundreds place? Well, going back to that place value relationship we just talked about, we know the thousands place is 10 times greater than the hundreds place. And so the value of the three in the thousands place is... 10 times the value of the three in the hundreds place. Okay, a new problem has magically appeared at the top of my screen. The new number is 5,501 and the statement is the value of the five in the hundreds place is blank. The value of the five in the thousands place. All right, so just like the last problem, I'm going to write the given number 5,501 next to my place value chart. And I'm going to write a five in the thousands place. The value of a five in the thousands place is 5,000. And I'm going to write a five in the hundreds place. And the value of a five in the hundreds place is... 500. All right, so let's go back to our statement. The statement says the value of the five in the hundreds place is blank times the value of the five in the thousands place. So I'm starting in the hundreds place. All right, so how does a five in the hundreds place relate or compare to a five in the thousands place? Well, I know the hundreds place is 10 times greater in the tens place, but that doesn't help me much in this problem. But remember that I have another place value relationship. Each place is one tenth the place to its left. And the hundreds place is one tenth of the thousands place. And so the five in the hundreds place is one tenth of 
the value of the five in the thousands place. And sometimes you will see, instead of this word of, whoops, instead of this word of, you will see the word times. And that's also correct. So the value of the five in the hundreds place is one tenth times the value of the five in the thousands place. Okay, so I got a brand new problem at the top of the page or the top of the screen. And it has the given number 45,467. And the statement is the value of the four in the 10,000 place is blank times the value of the four in the hundreds place. Okay, so this one is a little bit different. But I'm still going to write my number out to the side here so we can get a closer look. And uh, let's check out where these fours are. I got a four in the thousands place. I got a four in the hundreds place. I'm sorry, I got a four in the ten thousands place and the four in the hundreds place. And I'm going to go ahead and write my four in the ten thousands place. And my four in the hundreds place. And I want to see how these two fours compare or relate to one another. All right, so going back to the statement, the statement says the value of the four in the ten, ten thousands place is a blank times the value of the four in the hundreds place. So I'm starting the ten thousands place. This is interesting. Okay, so, but we can do this. I'm going to start in the ten thousands place, and I know the ten thousands place is ten times greater than the thousands place, but I still haven't quite gotten to the hundreds place. But I know the thousands place is 10 times greater than the hundreds place. And so I want you to take a look at what's going on right here. I go from the 10 thousands place to the thousands place. And from the thousands place to the hundreds place. And so uh, the difference or... The number of times that separate the 10 thousands place and the hundreds place is actually 10 times 10, which is 100. So the value of the four in the 10 thousand place is actually 100 times the value of the four in the hundreds place. Pretty cool. All right, one more problem. I am given the number 491,901, and the statement below says the value of the nine in the hundreds place is blank times the value of the nine in the 10,000 place. All right. So I'm seeing how the nine in the hundreds place compares to the nine in the ten thousands place. So I'm going to write a nine in my ten thousand place value position. And the value of that is 90,000. I'm going to write the other nine in the hundreds place and the value of that nine is 900. So I'm seeing how 900 compares to 90,000 because my statement says the value of the nine in the hundreds place is blank times the value of the nine in the 10,000 place. So I'm starting in the hundreds place. And I know the hundreds place is 10 times as much as the tens place. Uh, but that relationship does not help me. So instead, I know the nine is one tenth of the thousands. And from the thousands, it's another one tenth. And so actually, the value is one hundredth times the value. 